God and welcome back to Home Church. And I have an extended po ang quarantine period natin na dito po tayo and doing our third episode because uh, this week is Holy Week and we want to celebrate it with you. Uh, yung kapangyarihan po ng Panginoon ay hindi po natatapos dahil po quarantine, lockdown, hindi po uh, tuloy-tuloy po yan and God's power is overflowing in our midst and may plano po siya para sa bawat isa. So it's good to have you again church and it's good to be back and sharing you God's word. At ngayon po we're gonna celebrate this Holy Week. Tomorrow is Resurrection Sunday. Kaya don't miss our live services, online services, eight services the whole day tomorrow. Be there, be with your friends, be with your family, invite loved ones, especially those who doesn't really uh, uh, believe yet in Jesus Christ. It's the perfect time to spread the love, especially God's love to everyone, right? Yes, amen. Again, welcome to Home Church. And uh, we're so glad we can do this again. And we're celebrating Easter tomorrow, so it's very special. But this certain video, it's also very special, mainly because we have a very, very special announcement later. So it, we will announce it at the end of the video. So we hope and pray that you guys will tune in up until the very end, okay? Yeah. And do you have any praise reports for us today? What's happening with you or um, the church? Yeah, of course, that and praise reports. But right? well, specifically for Church of God, Maria, God is really moving in our church. And specifically with the Grace of Banner movement. You know, we have a Grace of Banner video in that. So if you don't have your entries yet, now is the time. Do it. Everyone's doing it already. But specifically for our church, we have around almost 50 because it ranges from kids and um, adults. So, I know any age group grab the hat so then you raise a banner for the Lord. So this is really good. And also um there are so many people who are doing build an altar and last week it was our peak na we have 49 participants in one night. Of course and the whole Church of God community and the whole Philippines they we um we had like uh, 11,000 plus people who were praying in their own homes. Uh, 11,000 homes actually. But for uh, Church of God Market itself, we had 49 participants in one night. And then there were 19 homes. So wow. praise God for that. Diba? So you can join that as well. Hashtag raise the banner. Uh, share your praise reports. Share what God is doing in your life. Uh, share your praise and worship. Your time with your family. And speak life spread God's love and yung build an altar every 8 p.m. po yan at sana po sama-sama po tayo dyan with our own families at let's pray and worship the Lord every yeah. single day and before we proceed with God's word I would like to share with you uh, may nakita po sa social media I think I think this is our third week already third Sunday na hindi po tayo nakikita-kita at nakita ko po, po sa sa social media, may mga logos po na binago po nila for today, for this time. Dahil po, they're promoting yung ating lockdown, yung ating quarantine, and pag-iwahiwalay muna tayo. Just like yung logo po ng McDonald's. Have you seen the logo of McDonald's? Uh, dating magkadikit na M ngayon, magkahiwalay na because they are trying to promote social distancing. So talaga kailangan natin to be one with uh, with this uh, movement, with this push ng government, na social distancing muna para matapos na and after a couple of weeks tayo po yung magkita-kita na rin. And actually, with regards to that, I really miss having coffee. At may isa ring logo dun yung Starbucks logo naman na naka-face mask na. Uh, just recently, I think just yesterday, kakaubos lang ng lahat ng coffee namin dito. And I tried to go out, sarado po yung Starbucks at di po ako makahanap ng coffee. Uh, meron akong bagong barista ngayon. Siya yung yeah. aking barista. Yeah, ginawa niya ang personal barista niya sa every time he gets a good coffee. It's my very first time to learn how to use that thing. So we do so the uh, thing na yun, ang tawag ko dun ay coffee press. Yes. Uh, Halatang-halata na hindi siya barista. At hindi niya alam yung mga terms. And I'm just doing coffee press, yung grounded na coffee. Para po to perk me up every single day. So, prayerfully, matapos na po yung lockdown, matapos na po yung quarantine para makamalit tayo sa McDonald's, sa Starbucks, sa favorite hangouts natin. Yeah. Kaya today, ito po yung title po natin. Our title is Conqueror. Uh, sabi nga yun with me, if you're watching, we want to be conquerors because we are more than conquerors. And uh, dahil nabanggit ko po yung mga logo, 
Uh, we have our own logo sa Church of God. If you're a Church of God watching here, baka alam mo na to or baka hindi mo alam, dapat alam natin church logo. And maybe if you're from another church, it doesn't matter. I believe that your logo, your church is more unified and more solidified in this crisis at ngayon tayo nagkakaisa. But for me, for us right now, we're just sharing our own home church logo. Wala iba po yun yung COG. Uh, dito po nagsisimula yan sa cross. Bakit po yung ministry po natin, our model in our church, in our ministry, na walang iba po dito si Jesus Christ. The, the head of this church is not the senior pastor, it's not my dad, it's not me. When you look at our organizational chart, it is Jesus Christ. Kaya yan po, inukulit po yan. Pag nakita po natin yung ating church logo, it is the Lord Jesus Christ. It starts with a cross, at meron po yung paikot po dyan. And it symbolizes the Holy Spirit. At alam niyo po, in this time right now, in this crisis, kailangan na kailangan natin Holy Spirit. We need His healing, we need the revival, we need Him to move. Uh, kailangan natin siya makasama at tayo ay manalangin. At, uh, we're gonna do this not by might, nor by power, but only by the Spirit of God. And finally, sa logo po natin, makikita po natin dun yung ating waging, which is, we exalt you, Jesus. And wala na pong ibang makitataas na pangalan. It's not me, it's not the pastors, it's not whoever name it is, it's not the church. Wala po ibang may itataas sa pangalan ko, hindi ang pangalan ni Jesus Christ. Only the name of Jesus Christ will be raised on high. At siya po ang bida sa lahat ng ating ginagawa. At bakit ko po pinapakita yung logo? Because now is not the time for us to separate from this, uh, from Jesus Christ, from the Holy Spirit. Now is not the time to separate at hindi po tayo maging unified on exalting Jesus Christ. Ngayon po tayo mas dapat maging solid, ngayon po tayo mas dapat maging united, at ngayon po tayo dapat mas maging stick. We need to be stick with the Lord Jesus Christ that we may conquer uh, through this crisis. Kaya lang sadly, syempre, ito po talaga yung gawain ng kaaway. He's here to kill, steal, and destroy. Pag sabi nga yun, pag hindi mo alam yung vision ng kaaway, to kill, steal, and destroy. Yan lang ang kanyang purpose. Buti pa nga siya, alam niyo yung purpose niya. Alam niyo yung kanyang mission. Alam niyo yung kanyang vision to kill, steal, and destroy. And he's using this crisis. He's using this quarantine, this lockdown to make that happen. To kill our joy. To steal our faith. Diba? To, to ruin our hope in the Lord. Ngayon, yung perfect time na ginagawa niya. And somehow, uh, the enemy is able to fool us and disunite us, to break us apart. And yun yung time na usually we question, question God, and doubt on Him. But ba nangyayari ito? Kala ko ba, Lord, si God, pero bakit ganun? Uh, ngayon pa siya, ngayon nangyayari ito lahat. And, meron pong verse sa Bible at ang sabi po dun, sa Romans chapter 8, verse 35, it says there, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? separate sa atin sa love ng Panginoon. Shall tribulation or distress or persecution, yung po nangyayari po sa atin yun, there's so much persecution, there is famine, kaya po nagkaroon na po ng panic buying because natatakot po magutong. Uh, maganda po sa atin na may mga trabaho bago po mangyayari po yung lockdown, may pambili po tayo. How about the other people na talagang struggling right now or going through famine? or nakedness, or peril, or sword. Are these the things? But isip pa natin, parang makakalagay tayo ngayon dito sa Romans chapter 8, verse 35. Will this be the things that will separate us from the love of God? So tingin mo much, ano ang masasabi mo? Yeah, nothing, I agree, nothing can ever separate us from the love of God. And this is really based on God's word as well. And never was. The love of God is the goodness of God. It is grace for us. Considered him punished by God, 
stricken by him and afflicted, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. So this is the ultimate act of grace, that we can never be separated from that grace because God has given everything, the ultimate price. He has paid for everything. This is the exact explanation, in short, of everything he went through. You know, the people this uh, despise him. He endured punishment. He endured the wounds. And he bore everything. All of our sins. He paid for everything. So we deserve Speaking of the goodness of God, uh, grab it. And do you agree with me that we are really living the goodness of God even before we were born? So right now, we want to share another goodness of God. And so good news for our family is very personal. That's what we were talking about in the Old Testament. Please stay up until the very end because this is what we want to share. Okay? Hindi namin bakit ganyan. That's it. Because you are also family to us. So we want to share it to you. Okay, so we have this. We are... We are pregnant again! Wow. There. So we are pregnant again. So we found out last January. So um, Bella wasn't wonderful still that time. But um, I know this year that I'm going to be But then again, we prayed for this time. Lord, this is your will. You open this. This is a blessing, and um, this is not an accident. This child will be a conqueror. So right now, exactly, I'm 18 weeks pregnant, so almost five months pregnant. Are you excited? Yes, I'm so much excited, and somehow I could now uh, relate with the pregnant moms or uh, not pregnant dads, but the mga dads po na may asawa pregnant or matawag ng and syempre ngayon, hindi kami makapunta sa hospital hindi uh, namin alam kung anong hospital i-deliver si baby and hindi natin alam kung hanggang kailan po yung lockdown so, so many worries, so many anxieties but I believe in the goodness of our God, amen? amen and our God is good, He will never leave us nor forsake us and if this is not the not if this is not the plan of God hindi po mangyari po ito ngayon and I believe that this is no accident uh, our baby, upcoming baby, is no accident, and he has a word for us. He has a plan for us. Uh, alam na natin yung purpose niya. Ngayon pa lang, we don't know what will happen tomorrow. We don't know when will the lockdown end. We don't know what will happen next month. But today, we already claim the victory. Because that's what faith is. We put our faith and hope in the Lord, no matter what's happening in our lives right now. And ganyan din po yung love na Panginoon na mas nakaka-relate po ko yun because right now I'm really praying for a baby boy. Uh, kasi po si Bella ay baby girl and we're praying na our second one will be a baby boy. And ngayon po po nare-realize yung love ni God para sa atin na when He gave His one and only Son for all of us to go into this world na alam ng ating Panginoon Diyos na when He sends His one and only Son, Jesus Christ, will experience the worst days of his life. Diba, kung tayo po mag-iisip, yun, parang hindi ito yung perfect time na i-deliver ang isang baby. Hindi ito yung year, hindi ito yung perfect time na uh, mangangalak yung aking misis, yung inyong misis. Hindi po ito yung perfect time because of the crisis, because of the lockdown, because of the anxiety, because of the everything that's happening right now. And Ngayon, parang ganun po yung experience siguro ng ating Father in Heaven when He was sending His Son here into the world. Wow! It's not a perfect scenario. Alam niya po yung pagdadaanan niyang kanyang sariling anak. He will die. He will be persecuted. Everything. Worst days of His life. Pero ano pong ginawa niya? He still allowed it to happen. He still allowed Jesus Christ to come here on earth. Bakit? Kasi sabi po sa next verse in Romans chapter 8. 38-39 For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come nor height, nor depth, 
nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Bakit po walang makakahimulay sa pagmamahal ng ating Panginoon para sa atin sa pagmamahal ng Jesus Christ? Bakit? Kaisa-isa niyang anak, walang round to po yun. Kaisa-isa niyang anak, binigay niya para sa atin as an expression of His love to show and let us experience how great our God's love is for us. And that in itself is telling us truly nothing, not even famine, not even peril, not even the crisis can separate us from the love of God. This is His everlasting love for me, for you, for Bella, for our coming baby, for you, for your families. Ganyan ka, kamahal ng ating Panginoon. And today, are you also having a hard time? Sanya uh, tayo in our own homes, sanya tayo in our own families. And I could just relate with you today that we're all having a hard time. And this is God's message for all of us in the verse 37. It says, Yet, in all these things, in all these hard things you're going through right now, whatever you may be going through right now in your own homes, in your families, yet, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him. Lord God, 
in this year, Lord God. They will be delivering their baby in a couple of days, couple of months. Lord God, bless them and protect their lives, protect their families, protect their children. Because we understand how hard it is, Lord God. We understand how difficult times are right now. But with your love, Lord God, it is our protection. Lord God, you're going to provide for us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. We love you so much, God, including the victory. And we give you back all the glory, all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everybody shout. Amen. Amen. Thank you for celebrating with us. Yay!